Hi there guys and welcome back to a brand new match review here on the channel. My name is James and today we're going to go ahead and sit down and talk to you guys about Reading's 5-2 defeat against Bolton Wanderers. That's right, it was once again a horrid away show for Reading uh, as we lost on our travels once again. The final scoreline ended up being by 5 goals to 2 and I thought it was a really, really tired performance from Reading. Don't get me wrong, I thought Bolton were absolutely outstanding in possession with the ball uh, and going forward looked really, really good but I thought Reading's defence looked really really tired today. Once again that's not me taking anything away from Bolton, I thought Bolton played superb but at the same time I thought they were helped out by Reading being really knackered. When you take a look at the team as well that played uh, and you look across that back four, uh, they've played a lot of minutes over the last four months or so uh, and I thought really that played a contributing factor into kind of the performance that Reading defensively put on today. Tyler Binden looked absolutely knackered and looked like his legs had gone. Amadou Mbenge by the second half was shattered and you can see that as well at the end of the first half, especially with that challenge he put in. I thought Clinton Mola was a bright spark for Reading today uh, and look, I just thought really overall Reading looked knackered. I thought part of that was because of Bolton. Uh, I thought Bolton on the ball pressing Reading were really good. Uh, and when they had the ball made Reading come and, come and attack them and try and press them. But Bolton overall made Reading work really hard on the day. Now the starting 11 that played for Reading, uh, Joel Pereira retained his place in goal. Jarrell Dorsett, Tyler Binden, Amadou Mbenge and Clinton Mola played across the back four. Charlie Savage and Lewis Wing were our two central midfielders uh, as Harvey Nibs played in that attacking midfielder position. There was a change on the wings as Femi Aziz kept his place, whereas Kelvin Ehebacherman returned to the side, replacing Ben Elliott. And finally, Sam Smith was the sole striker. Now, uh, the game got off to a pretty poor start. Uh, Bolton really, I felt like, in the first half, were going for it like they were a title-charging team. And that's exactly what they are. But it was almost as if it was the 80th minute and there was only 10 minutes to go and they really needed to find a goal. They managed to find that goal when Aaron Collins scored an absolutely fantastic strike uh, with an absolutely lethal strike into the top corner of the net. There was no way Joel Pereira was ever going to get to that one. Uh, it came after an Ehebacherman mistake. He was on the ball and lingered on it he was asking for a foul personally don't think there was a foul uh, the ball then came to Collins and he struck it from distance Bolton then continued to pile the pressure on uh, and were continuously piling the pressure on nearly scoring again from long range up it was a good save by Joel Pereira uh, consistently attacking Reading and really squeezing them into their own half but Reading actually managed to score the second goal of the game Lewis Wing struck one again from about 20-25 yards out uh, it took a little bit of a deflection but ended up going into the back of the net making it 1-1 uh, and Reading really uh, were lucky to go into the half time break only uh, well would have been lucky to go into the half time break at 1 1 1. Uh, but unfortunately for Reading, in the 45th minute, uh, added time was put up and five minutes were added on, which was uh, a little bit surprising because I didn't really know where the referee got that from. Um, but Bolton went through on goal. Amadou and Benge, after making some excellent challenges in the first half, really messed up on this one and unfortunately took out his man. Uh, Aaron Collins then stepped up and scored the penalty to put Bolton 2 1 up. If you're Ian Everett, you would probably be a little bit disappointed uh, at the conceded goal and you really should be going into the break 2-0 up. If you're Ruben Seles, probably a little bit happy that it was only 2-1. Now Bolton went ahead and scored their third goal. John Daddy Bodvardson, a former Reading player, ended up scoring. Uh, he scored in the 49th minute. Again, it was really poor defending from Reading. You could see the laziness, and the, well not the laziness, but the tiredness in the Reading back four. John Daddy Bodvardson was unmarked in the box and he managed to slot the ball away after a low cross. Between the third and the fourth goal for Bolton, I thought Reading started to play a little bit better. Some substitutions were made and a change of tactics came about. Jaden Wareham came on up front and he partnered Sam Smith for a little bit. And I thought the two of them looked quite good and quite dangerous together. Reading decided to kind of step up the tempo and started to create some more opportunities. Controversially, in my opinion, a goal was struck off the record for Reading. Uh, Jaden Wareham should have got his first goal uh, for the club, but unfortunately was judged to have been offside from Sam Smith. Uh, Clinton Mola had a strike. It managed to be safe, but a keeper, he spilled it, came to Smith. Smith struck the ball, hit the goalkeeper, uh, and then Jaden Wareham put the ball in the back of the net. Smith was a judge to be offside. Personally, didn't think he was, but I've only seen the one replay. Might have clearly been offside, um, but just from the one replay I've seen, didn't think he was offside at the time. Bolton, though, made it 4-1. Uh, it was Aaron Collins once again scoring. It was some really poor defending at the back once again from Reading, failing to clear their lines. Uh, and look, Bolton managed to take advantage of it. Collins smashing the ball into the back of the net. 
Redden then kind of just, the game kind of took a little bit of a lull. Uh, Redden continued to push, uh, and i got to say, it was a much different performance than what would have been seen a year ago when you would have questioned the players on the pitch compared to what you did today. Uh, the boys definitely were playing for the shirt, and that was shown when Redden scored a second goal, uh, made it 4-2 in the 92nd minute. Paul Makaru scoring, he came off the bench, he managed to score. Uh, but Bolton ended up scoring a fifth. John ba John Daddy Bodvartsen once again, and this time in my opinion, again controversially, uh, was judged to have not been offside uh, despite looking miles off. And I've seen the replay and I still will stand by John Daddy Bodvartsen being offside. He managed to score a second goal in the 95th minute. Uh, and yeah, Bolton ended up winning the game by five goals to two. In my opinion, you really could see the difference between a team that are gunning for promotion and a team that are fighting relegation here. Uh, Bolton just clearly looked the better side. With the loss, Reading have dropped down one position. Shrewsbury ended up getting a draw today, uh, so they have climbed up back to 17th. Reading, though, meanwhile, are in 18th position. Stood still two teams behind uh, Reading in the table at the moment, with Cambridge and Burton on 45 and 40 points. Uh, and there's still a six point gap between Reading and that relegation zone, with Port Vale losing again today. Uh, all the teams below Reading ended up getting beat, so, apart from Cambridge. So it was a good result, kind of. Oh, sorry, it was a good week, really, for Reading in terms of results. Um, but really not good because obviously we got beat 5-2 but in terms of the other teams around us it was good results to see on the off the pitch uh, realistically though Reading are seven points clear if we're being completely honest of the drop zone uh, the minus four goal difference really should come into play uh, come the, if, if it has to come into play at the end of the season uh, will count as an extra point as really I don't see Port Vale Cheltenham uh, or Burton really clawing back a 15-16 goal difference compared to us uh, who obviously are only on minus four at the moment that's going to be it for this one though today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I think it was around 1,500 Reading fans that went today, so a big fair play. 25,000 fans in the stadium overall for a League One game of football. That is absolutely outstanding. Listen to Bolton. Big well done. Fair play on the win. Uh, if I had to choose anyone uh, to go up uh, out of the three teams that are there, it's going to be you out of the three. Um, so yeah, look, congratulations. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys will be playing championship football for your sake next season. That's going to be it for this one today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I've been James, and we'll see you all in the next video soon. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.